a tough team in there tonight, but you guys hung around for quite a while. Uh, yeah. We got to get to where we're beating those guys instead of hanging on. You know? <laughs> what did you feel like the difference was down the stretch when they kind of pulled away midway through the fourth? Um, they just kept attacking. And, you know, we didn't have the best. You know, just defense. You know, we, I feel like we got stuck sometimes on offense, and uh, we didn't come up with big plays on defense. You had a few bigs that were hurt tonight in uh, Peck and KG, and then Ricky leaves the spring ankle. How tough has it been to play when you're shorthanded like you were tonight? Uh, <laughs> you just got everybody. You got to be ready, uh, especially with the way we've been going. So you just you never know when you know you don't come in. So everybody coming off the bench, you got to you know just have the same type of you know play that the starters have. I know it probably doesn't feel like it, but how valuable of an experience is it to play 18 minutes straight? A lot of those against the guy that's on a roll like Westbrook is. I mean, it's valuable. I mean, I started, you know, in the beginning of the year, so I mean, you know, I experienced it already, but it's just a different role now, and, you know, I just got to come off the bench with the uh, same type of mentality. I don't feel like it's, you know, it's still learning, but like, I've gone through it now. <laughs> He's, he's playing at a different level than he was before. What's it like to see that up close? Yeah. <laughs> MVP shots, MVP, you know, type of type plays, man. You can't. Sometimes you play good D and he goes over and, you know, he does something incredible. So uh, you just got to stick to your rules and try to do the best you can. He's a rough dude, so you got to be rough with him. Uh, you got to do the best you can, man. MVP, man, MVP plays. Not, not saying you'll be him, but can you see yourself being, becoming that kind of player? I'm going to become the best player I can be. And, uh, you know, where my goals are, you know, I definitely, uh, definitely try to reach his potential. You know, that's, that's my goal, be the best player I can be. When you decided to go to, to UCLA, did you look at all what he had done there, or did you see any comparisons? Yeah, you know, just uh, people I make, we compare just because of athleticism, but, uh, you know, I, I try to take some of his things that he does in the game and, you know, put them into mind, and uh, definitely don't be working on a lot of them in the off season. Athleticism on the speed, not many guys have, have both. Not many people have that, and, uh, you know, I'm just trying to get a little bit of his strike now. You know, I might be 20, 19, but, uh, you know, if I can put some strike on to be able to, you know, take the bangs like he's doing uh, in the lane, you know, it definitely helped me. He's on such a roll, and he's going so good right now that he even got a triple-double sitting on the bench for that. <laughs> they gave him an extra <laughs> rebound at the end. Oh, really? Yeah. That's... Hey man, MVP. <laughs> you get you get those type of things when you contending to get MVP and getting eight triple doubles in one month. So <laughs> you know it's a uh, you know he's on a roll, man. He's, he's very very special. I think they went back and determined one of the rebounds he had gotten a tip on, so it went from nine to ten. <laughs> hey man, that's a uh, type of stuff that happens, and then regular dudes, you know, rookies like me get get stats taken away when you have two three rebounds, you come out with one. <laughs> Zach, can you talk about the leadership of Kevin Garnett on the team since he's come? Uh, extremely, you know, he's being very vocal, giving us, you know, his insight on everything, his experience, you know, how to be tough, you know, he's one of the toughest dudes in, you know, in the league, so uh, that's what we're trying to, you know, build our culture around. Well, the sneaker culture right now is, is, is horrible, in my opinion, just from somebody who was around back in the day to see where it's evolved now, I mean... You got people who wait in line for these sneakers and they're there just to make money. Most I spent on a sneaker was uh, $700 for a pair of sixes from Flight Club. And that was with a discount. 